Not quite really ready. Uh, Brett, they're not, re they're not ready. Hang, hang on. Let's, let, first, let's make this a little more the theatrical, shall we? We should probably agree on an or ooh, ah, oh, maybe. Let's try it. We had, a little dis we had a little disagreement on the ooh at the end there, I saw. All right, all right, one more, one more time, one more time. We'll get it right, we'll get it right. Well done! Give yourselves a hand! That's Brett Crow. he has a keyboard that makes annoying noises. He does. That one distracts. So, Brett, Brett, incidentally, is now a graduate of clown school. And that, and about $5, gets you a coffee at Starbucks. So, congratulations to Brett. Um, this, this is uh, an example of one of the things that happens in this room. We help people, uh, I, I won't say get better, but chase their, their crazy, idiotic dreams. And that was one of his, and we helped encourage him. And he actually got a scholarship from the New York Goofs and got to study with them for a week. So that was a big deal. And, it was all, and, and now he will, actually, he will actually be working, we're going to start working and integrating him into some of the things that our performing company does, and hopefully he will join us in our uh, other show, our family-friendly show. This is not the family-friendly show. Yeah. You're welcome. Seriously. I noticed some significant differences between the quality of Heckler. They are way more articulate than you are in their ability to say things. I'm just, you guys with the, uh, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> It really, it really is different. I, I, you know, you guys who just got here and are joining us tonight, thank you for coming. And you need to know, we've been here since about 4.30 in the afternoon building this madhouse for you. So you can go mental in it. And the people who do it, most of them are wearing these stylish hats, are working, they're working their tails off. They're working really hard to make this happen for you. And so we all get a chance to play and perform. And they have to put up with me during that time. You see, the me on stage now, charming, baggy pants, Lots of eye contact, too much, I see. <laughs> this, this is, you know, it's the character. But the, the me before the show is kind of a wreck. Because <laughs> we have to do it all, and we have a limited amount of time. If anything goes wrong, somebody dies. A lot. <laughs> yeah, not too much. I, I, don't offer a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> it, is an, it is worth mentioning to our new friends, this is an audience participation show, but not this much. <laughs> No, no, it's about, you're actually about, don't hide, it's about right. Would you like to come up here with me or I'll just keep going? No, uh, yes, he's, he's making them. I can come down there with you, but it, it makes the whole thing harder. So yeah, I'm, I'm a wreck though. Before the, before the show, I'm an absolute wreck because I'm trying to get it all done because I, I care a lot and we've got a million moving parts to make this thing happen. Last Friday, we launched that family-friendly show I was telling you about and it was a new wheelhouse for us and I was, I was in full on just, oh, it's an adult room, batshit monster mode. <laughs> I was really losing it. And, and considering I'm supposed to be the clown that's lovable, this is a bad place. So I remember Johnny, who all of you have met millions of times and reads the rules to you on the way in the door, Johnny Morbid. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. They, they all know, yeah. John, so Johnny, Johnny grabs me by both lapels and lifts me up a little bit. And he says, do you trust your team? I'm, at this point, of course, I'm bouncing off the walls and jumping all around and freaking out. And he grabs me, both. do you trust your team? And I think about all of the things we've done. I think about the fact that we've built a, a community over seven years. I think about the fact that we've we built a, a, you know, this show for four and a half years. I think about the fact that we've done theater shows and we've done all this stuff even just in the last year that is just mind blowing. And in a couple of cases, not only did I trust them, I trust them with my life, my safety, my well-being, my sanity in a couple of cases. That, that one may have been a little off, but yeah, I trusted them completely. And I said, yes, he says, then trust that they've got it. And I relaxed completely. Today, when I got here and we started building all this, I realized that that's the thing our performers get out of this room, that feeling. I, I, needed to be, I needed to get outside this room to remember it because I'm doing it for other people and all of our crew is doing it for you guys. We're supporting you, we're backing you up, we're making sure that you're safe so you can be amazing. It's a great feeling and I'm so glad to be a part of the troupe and the people who give it to you, but I wanted to take a moment before we started the show to shout out all of the people who work so very hard to do it for you. Please give a cheer for our tech crew. <laughs> it's
it's a lot of disgusting work, but they do get shiny hats. It's nice. <laughs> so, without further ado, hey guys, we got an easy room. <laughs> I found another way they're different than kids. <laughs> okay, without further ado, we're gonna get this thing on the road if you're ready. All I have to do is say the name of the show, the name of an act, and we're on our way. The place that makes you feel safe so you can be anything you are, including kind of stupid, is called the open stage. Welcome. Now then. <laughs> 